Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. This, Just as a side note, with any donation you give, you can ask me a question in the comment section, and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. All right, I scurry the crystal for you today, and the image I saw within the crystal for you were letters. So I'm going to try to explain how I saw them. Each letter formed in a almost like a cursive script, but it was rooted. I'm trying to explain what I mean by rooted. Like tree, tree limbs, like roots of a tree formed each letter. It was like they were the letters that they were forming. And... I wrote it down here, the letters I saw, and they were all capitalized. And the first letter that I saw was P, and the next letter after that was a T and then an M. So, you know, take it how it resonates um, as to what that could mean to you. It'll apply differently to everyone. Uh, if you choose to, you can let me know in the comment section of how those letters apply to you. All right. The first card to come out for you today is the Ace of, I'm sorry, the Queen of Cups. So with the Queen of Cups being here, this is someone that's very in touch with their emotions. This is someone that's very sensitive. This is like a gentle spirit is what this energy represents. And I feel like that's your energy here, Sagittarius. Next card out for you was the Six of Swords. So you're moving past something. You're moving past things that no longer serve you. You're moving towards, you know, calmer waters. Next card out for you is the, whoop, skipped one. Next card out for you is the Nine of Wands. So you're leaving behind this wounded warrior energy. You know, you're leaving behind this, you know, feeling wounded type energy of having to always battle, you know, and always having to defend yourself. You know, you're, you're moving past being around, you know, negative energies. Next card out for you is the emperor because you're going to be sitting in your throne and your power. You know, you're going to be sitting in your rank and, you know, this unchallenged authority, you know, where you're sitting, you know, very much in your, your, you know, your, your domain. Next card out is the king of wands. So I feel like this is another energy that is also seeing themselves as a king. Um, this is a fiery energy and normally this is a good energy, but what it's paired up with here is the knave of swords so i feel like there's a spy that is watching you now this person thinks of themselves as a high rank um this person possibly could be a fire sign as well they don't have to be you know they could just be inhabiting that energy but this person is spying on you this is someone that could be uh stalking your social media page asking you know family and friends about you um, this could even be a community that's following you and spying on you. But this is someone that thinks of themselves as high ranking. You know, this is someone that thinks of themselves as a king. Um, but they're seeing you in your authority that you're going to be, you know, not dealing with their negative energy. And you're going to be sitting in your own throne, in your own power. And this is upsetting them because they had this uh, narcissistic view of how they saw themselves as that they could be the only ones of high rank. And this person could be, you know, a very gossipy type of individual as well. But this person is, you know, a very snake type energy. This could be a toxic uh, friend, family member, co-worker, ex. You know, take it how it resonates. It'll apply differently to everyone. Next card out for you is the Six of Cups. This is someone from your past. Okay, so with this card coming up, this is someone that you know very well. You could have possibly have grown up with them. Um, you possibly could have, you know, cut your strings with this person a long time ago. But this person is trying to come back up. If you thought perhaps that they... We're not, you know, watching you. They are, you know, they are still very much spying on you. Next card out for you is the nine of coins, but you are in your stability. This is very grounded energy where you're going to be having, you know, long lasting relationships around people that care about you and, you know, have your, you know, your best interests at heart. Next card out for you is Mazic Pieces. So with this card coming out here, it's letting you know that, yes, you know, you've gone through difficult times within your life, but each difficult situation has served a purpose to make you of who you are today and to let you know that, you know, you are very much a whole and you're not fractured. Next card out for you is Shooting Star Life Purpose. So this has a, a very deep meaning here. 
The Shooting Star plant um, used to be used um, medicinally by Native Americans, but, it, you know, the information on it is kind of limited to us. But the symbols of, of the Shooting Star is, you know, being very much connected to the celestial realms, you know, being a star seed. It's letting you know that you could possibly have always felt like you didn't fit in in your life, you know, didn't fit in, you know, growing up, that you always felt, you know, this calling, this this higher purpose and, you know, feeling like you belong more in the celestial realm than the earthly realms. But it's letting you know here that you have a life purpose, you have a divine mission. You know, it's letting you know that, yes, you are very much connected to the celestial realm, but it's like a earth angel. You have a divine mission and a calling and a purpose here on earth that you are supposed to carry out. So beautiful energy there for you, Sagittarius. You know, all in all, I see a good uh, reading here for you. You're moving past all negative energies. You're moving towards, you know, calmer waters and moving past what no longer serves you. Um, whoever this person is that is, you know, trying to spy on you, you know, I wouldn't pay them any attention. Um, you know, they're just, they're just jealous because they see you in your high rank, you know, so keep on progressing. And, you know, I see that you have a very deep spiritual purpose and, you know, keep following the path that God is leading you down. All right, Sagittarius, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.